How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your simple rotations just look a lot better. We're going to be making this animation right here, just having that. And I'm going to give you a file so we can have this model to play with. And I'm also going to show you how to give it this really wispy, crazy motion blur effect. So before we get into that, I want to let you guys know that the free version of the real time materials add on is now available on blender market, hit the link in the description. That'll give you 40 high quality procedural materials to do whatever you want with professional, personal work, whatever. They're super cool. Check that out in the description. So if you open up the project file, you can download it for free in the description called spin file. It's going to give you this right here. Uh, I'm going to go up here and just turn on these buttons so that you can kind of see everything we're working with. Uh, so if you hop into cycles, it'll give you this really nice look, but not animated. So we're going to go ahead and animate that. This video is all about what you can do with your keyframes to get your spinnings, your rotations, whatever, to look really good. So one very important thing is if you go to your preferences, edit preferences, and go to animation, make your default interpolation Bezier. So that's typically by default. I put it at linear a lot for loops. So first we're gonna go ahead and animate the Z rotation. So here's what we want the animation to do. Do this and then rotate a bunch. It's, it's a bit of a wind up rotation. So to give it some information and then when it happens at the end, it's gonna go back. Um, if that doesn't make any sense, just follow along. We're gonna have some fun with this. So right here, click the keyframe and go right about here, maybe frame 13 and bring it here. And then click that keyframe. Then go all the way to about here and type in 360 time four or star four. That's gonna give you 1440, which actually 360 star three, there we go. We want 1080. We want 1080 as our number, but let's go ahead and bring it farther this way and then click that keyframe. We'll go, we'll go right over here and then type in 1080. And so what that's going to do like this, it's going to spin a little bit like that. So that is the basic of the animation. Now we're going to go in and I'm going to show you how to make this look awesome. So what you're going to do is go up here to the animation tab and I'm just going to go ahead um, and I think, let's just go back here. I don't remember if that's default. So I'm just going to go right over here and hit this plus icon and we're going to drag this over because I don't remember what the default setup is and I wanna make sure you guys can see what I see. So bring that over and then right here, go to the graph editor. This is where we're going to go ahead and edit that Z rotation. So click on the object right over here, object transformations and click on Z Euler rotation. And then right here, click the home button on your, and that's gonna give everything into your view. So this is what we're looking at. So if we look at our timeline, see this right here? this and this, these are keyframes where you see this dot. And so that's what brings it back. And then we start going this way. So here's a really cool trick. You see how it slopes down. It's showing you that's the speed of the animation. So if you want it to be really slow at the beginning, you would take this little, little guy. And so now it's gonna be quicker. So it goes at the same pace like that. So we're gonna go back to the original. Now let's go ahead and speed it up by pulling it this way. Watch how quickly it re reacts. So instead we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna take this guy and we want it to be quicker. So we want it to go to the right really quick. So we go like that. So notice how that behaves. In fact, I'm just gonna kill all these gizmos. Here we go, like that. So if we go back to the beginning, just to make this clear, it does that. But now we'll take this and exaggerate that slope and it's gonna do that. And now I'm gonna click the home button again. And we're gonna do that with this one. We want it to start really quick. We want the animation to be, just wind up and then go fast and then slow down. The way we do that is we take this keyframe here and we exaggerate that slope to the max and then check this out. It's gonna slow down like that. And of course that looked unnatural. That ending part looked unnatural. So we're gonna deal with that next. So we did the first part, we did the second part it's going to do this and then it's go, going to go back. So now we need to deal with this keyframe. So I think we need to go ahead and slope this one more dramatically. There we go. See how cool that looks. It goes back very dramatically to the beginning. So if we go back just the default slope 
like that. But now if we go ahead and speed it up to make it look more intentionally animated, like that. How cool is that? So now this is the full animation so far. Very cool, very dramatic, very interesting. Now we're gonna add um, X rotation. So we're gonna put that back at zero. Okay, and so right when it starts to slow down, right about here, let's get that X rotation in, which it's this guy, the Y rotation actually. Click that. And then let's have it stop right here. So 360 time two. Star 2, 720. And so let's kind of see how that's going to look. All right, so pretty weird. We're going to go here to the Y or the rotation, hit the home button just to get everything to go work. And um, let's go ahead and exaggerate this. Click on this one, exaggerate that. Nice. So now it exaggerated how quickly that Y animation behaves. So we saw how it originally looked. This is the original slope. This is how it's gonna behave. It just goes really quickly, right? You can notice it goes straight into that Y rotation. And so what we want it to do is slowly go into that Y rotation. So right there. So now when we drag this out, it's gonna slowly enter into that animation, which would also make the middle rotation very fast and then again it'll slope back into that and so give you that same look and then it ends really robotically really interestingly um, and that's it it's really messing with those slopes messing with your rotations um, and seeing how all of it behaves and editing it now what I'm gonna do is show you how to get that really weird wispy look so I'm gonna go right here to where it's rotating really quick so like that this is how it looks in cycles. We're gonna go over here to the camera icon and then right here on motion blur. So typically your shutter speed, your shutter is going to look like this, um, especially if it's moving fast. But notice how, um, notice how the subtlety of that motion blur is and you can even bring it up a little bit more, maybe to 0 0.8, 0 0.08. Um, but that's typically like your common shutter speed, especially with something moving as quickly as this, you're gonna get that. But here's the fun part. You can add whatever value. I'm gonna go up to 12 and check this out. If we go up to a shutter of 12, now you have this insane, insane blurry mess. Let's do like six. See how that looks. Now it's, it's rotating incredibly quick. So really all of them are gonna be just this blurry, insane looking thing. So if we go maybe to frame 15, See how that looks. Notice that that motion blur looks really crazy. So basically, you can crank up that motion blur to be insanity, maybe to like seven or nine. Go back and render that, see how it looks again. And you're gonna get this insane ghost effect. It's like this triple, see this? See that? It's weird, it starts to ghost out. And then once we get to like here, where it's incredibly fast, that motion blur, of course, is gonna be much more exaggerated, where now you're gonna get something that looks closer to this look, and it's awesome. It's super cool, it's super awesome. Um, and that's, that's the easiest way to get that weird, interesting look. And then now, you can just go ahead and export it. So, so if you wanna export it, click on this printer icon and go ahead to save the file type. You're definitely gonna to wanna to do a PNG sequence, so save a new file, don't just put all 139 frames on your desktop. Create a folder, put it in that folder, and then you'll be ready to go. Uh, render, render animation, compile that PNG sequence, and when you're done, you'll have a really weird, cool looking animation like this one. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned some stuff on how to add some spice, some interest to your animations. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the free real-time materials add-on in the description, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.